Trumpomania, run wild, brother. Let Trumpomania rule again. How great was that? Russell Legend and former WWE uh, champ Hulk Hogan making some noise at the RNC last night. Uh, he took the place over and it was rolling. Guess who's on our couch? Hulk Hogan. He will not rip off his shirt, but he'll bring us inside your appearance. How do you yesterday. know he won't? I'm pretty tear his shirt I, off. I saw the. He reverse. might have Fox and Friends tank top <laughs> That's on right. underneath. That's right. I should right? have. That would have been great. Well, Hulk, what was it like out there? You it was a big crowd. You know, it life. was crazy, B. It was like. I went out there and I felt that energy, you know, and they had a teleprompter. And I, I, I don't work off a teleprompter or a script, you know. So <laughs> actually, I, when I was wrestling, I'd walk out right before the show was live and the writers would hand me like 90 pages and they would <laughs> still be hot. And I'd look at my boss, I'd go, really? And I'd yeah. just throw them away. So they had a, a teleprompter and they wanted something for the producers. They wanted to make sure I didn't go too off script. And I, the teleprompter was there, I think I looked at it about three minutes after I was out yeah. there. Wow. But it was fun. The energy in the room was crazy, and it actually felt like a wrestling crowd. I felt them rumbling, so I started pushing the gas pedal down. And the more I pushed the <laughs> right. gas pedal down, the more they responded. When did, so, when did you come up with the idea to rip the shirt open? Well, I was in the back, and I thought, you know what? The thing that really pushed me over the edge with this thing, because I was one of those people that was silent, and I didn't mm -hmm. speak. I call those people cowards, right, right. you know, and I sat around for years and years and years and watched what was happening to our country. And when they did that to Trump when they tried to kill yeah. him, I said, that was it. Is that when you decided to speak to? Yes. That's when I said, enough's enough. I'm, I'm done. Right. You know? And so I was just sitting around, you know what? That might be crazy, you know, when I, if I just go ahead and right. rip that shirt off and have the, the was, other one underneath. So. It was one of the iconic moments of the mm -hmm. RNC 2024. You know, uh, Dana White introduced him. Right. You were in attendance as well because the subtle message and not so subtle message is Donald Trump is a fighter. <laughs> yes, brother, he is. And you know what? The one thing I forgot to say, and I was riffing in the back of my head before <laughs> my wife was with me, before I went out, I had, they were playing music. I was just in the back trying to get my head right and get into the moment. And I started thinking, I'm Dr. Hogan. I, I'm Dr. Hogan. I can fix Trump derangement syndrome <laughs> because Donald Trump has so much love and he cares so much about this country, and he cares so much about people that Trumpomania is the cure mm -hmm. for, you know, Trump derangement syndrome. Yeah. But I forgot to say it. Oh. And so I'm saying Well, you now. just said it. I know, I know. So, so what, what do you know about Donald Trump? What should people know about him? Who's the one you, who's the Donald well, Trump you know? We rented the Trump Plaza for WrestleMania four and five back in the day, the day like 35 years I ago. I remember that. He was gracious. He came to the ringside. He stayed for all the matches. <laughs> Um, we did a bunch of other stuff with him, with the WWE, and he came and he shaved Vince McMahon's head. All kind of crazy stuff happened. But he was such a kind person. He was just so nice all the time. And I watched how he treated people. And he treated everybody the same. And it was really cool. And Look to see... That. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. It was really cool to see that this guy hasn't changed a bit. You know, and all the stuff that the press writes about him, it, he's not that guy. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. do you, do you was, think uh, do you think that if you told everybody how you were, your allegiance, you might have been the running mate and it wouldn't have been J.D. Vance? If you knew <laughs> that you were this in? Well, you know, I've had a lot of people come to me and say, Hulk Hogan, you should get into politics and stuff. And for me, I watch what's going on. I mean, I know right from wrong. It's a lot of common sense. But for me, it'd be a flat tax, brother. Mm -hmm. This is a go. standard flat tax. We fix everything. Well, this year, uh, uh, so far, politics has been full full contact, and you would be expert. Hulk, thank you very much. Thanks, After a Hulk. late night, getting up early. Thank you, guys. It was great thank to be here. So yeah, and awesome. you were fantastic. And yeah, I'm a huge fan of the show. I watch all the time. Well, they I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilney. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.